Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and we are back with nerd news to, from specifically from Forrest by Paul Tassi, talking about Starfield. Uh, I'm, we are going to be uh, apparently this new uh, Starfield expansion, Shattered Space, is looking quote unquote extremely promising. I am a little doubtful of that. I'm trying to get back into Starfield. I enjoy it conceptually. I enjoy the world conceptually, but it's just the biggest gripe for me is really more than anything is the um, uh, the current uh, is 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 the uh, fast travel system. It's cumbersome. It's, it's a lot. Um, I will say, I will say, I will say, if I'm being so perfectly honest, that uh, it seems like they basically took everything that people like a lot of the frustrations that people had with. Um, uh, the base game, which I had with the base game, and kind of done away with it. I.e. in the sense of you are appearing to not have to uh, go into space at all. It's all self-contained on a singular planet. And, uh, and and I think even, dare I say, even a single area. Because they say that the, the entire planet is handcrafted. I call bullshit. Uh, the way that the Starfield engine uh, generates planets, it, it, it's not like that. So I... You know, they, they probably are giving us a gigantic area with there within to work with. But, you know, I think the rest of the planet is going to be uh, generated, if I'm being honest. But there, the entire area is going to be handcrafted, not just the singular city or what, the, like a singular city or two with on on it. We're going to be going to House of Everyone's home, home world. Uh, there are apparently plenty of anomalies, so like jetpacking opportunities. Um as you can maybe see on screen if you're on YouTube. Um, I'm, uh, th this is very much going more for a, uh, a cosmic horror type of vibe, um, the, especially with some of the new weapons and enemies that they are adding that close the gap. That's kind of, you know, kind of going for a sort of like space horror alien, you know, remnant type of, type of thing. So I, I'm, I'm supportive of that, but like, I don't, Here's the thing, like, I would have, been, I personally would probably have enjoyed this quite a lot if it was free. I, I haven't even, like, gotten, like, through most of the base game yet. Um, and I don't know if I am. Um, well, we will have to, we will have to see. 